This is Sasoshin Kata. And like most of the kata that we do, or like every kata that we do, all it is is a collection of basics. Um, it is again a quite a difficult kata to do with some very, very tricky moves. Hopefully I've done them slow enough for you. I might even do a bit of slow motion so that you can see exactly how some of the moves are done. I'll show them at full pace as well so you can see the pace that you need to do them when you're actually performing the kata. Um, good luck with it. If you've got any questions, just send me a, a message. Or if you want to send me a WhatsApp of yourself doing the kata, then I can give you some feedback uh, while we're not able to train together. So, so Shin. Okay, so in the opening move of the kata, we have our hands in like a sanshin position with our hands open. Retract so your hand is straight, then push out, let it dip at the end, and then pull back to position. Breathe in and back. So your next move, bring your hands together, like you're cupping water from the stream. Bring your fingertips in and pull back strong. So your hands in line with your knee. Step across into a open handed chigiuke. Hikuruke, pulling the hand back, keeping it high. And then use your hips to drive across. Then you repeat, step in, step out. Hikuruke. Okay, so just some tips for this section. As you step across, make sure that you step far enough forwards on this angle so that when you turn your hips, you've still got the width of the stance. If you fail to do that and step too short when you turn, you won't have any width or strength in your stance at all. So it should step out here. And then the second one, step in, then make sure you step out again, 45 degrees. Here, so I've got the correct width of stance. Open, and at the correct width. Next move from there, step the feet together. Elbow strike. Okay, from the elbow strike position, I pivot first. Push my arms out into a long stance. Then my front foot comes across. This arm comes across the centre line. This one pulls up and push out again. Okay? Then I'm going to turn this way. This foot goes here, centre line again, and push. And the last turn, front foot goes across, centre line, and push. Then a hikaruke in a sanshin stance. Front kick, land, elbow, keeping my hand in the centre. When I turn at this point, my front foot comes around and perform a hikaru kick. Then a second hikaru kick to get me onto the other leg for the kick. Front kick, land, strike. So from this position, I draw my foot in, my hand comes on the inside and step back into a long stance, hand in the centre, hand by the ear. Then I step around and my right hand goes underneath my left elbow 
as I turn around these to break cat stats. So doing this section facing me, I put my weight down onto my foot, step into a long stance, kick my hips into a double elbow, fist facing this way, not this way, so I can get my elbows into the centre and perform a double elbow strike. And then I'm back to this section again. And the final move, step your feet together, another elbow, step forward and rotate, putting the top hand closest to my body into an open hand and chin in UK to finish. So I'll just do this section again from here, down, elbow, over, snap, in and out, over, snap, feet together, strike, step, finish. Hands, feet, hands. That's the Soshi. Hope you enjoyed that video. I'll see you soon in Santa Rue.